Right here at the Peace Palace in The Hague, two people of different age, gender and background reflect on the Earth Charter and the importance of our Earth, our soil and our soul. To both of them, this is a special place. Well, this is a very special building, of course. It's important that it is here. It is a center of peace. You feel it in the atmosphere. And I feel very safe here because during the last war, when I was uh, hiding for the, from the Germans, I had a home here in The Hague, in a little street, and I worked here on my dissertation. Right here? Right here. I thought, here I'm safe. <laughs> and it went all right. For you it's special too. Yes, it's special too, because this is a very historical place. Because 15 years ago, the Earth Charter started here. On the one hand, we have to see it in proportion, because when I think back of the last war, that was, from the point of view of violence, much more serious. There are billions of people died. On the other hand, we must not allow it to penetrate too deeply into our heart. And that is what Sufism aims, more and more to remain in tune with the one and only being that has created this whole universe. In Zen it's about uh, awakening your uh, true self. If your energy is at peace inside, your energy affects also the, the community. It's peace at mind. Mm -hmm. And I want to, contra to attribute uh, something, to add something to that. It's also peace at heart. Does it also help um, when yourself are um, uh, victimed, maybe, uh, when something violent happened? And it happened to you uh, last year, 2014. Yep. Your son and his family yep. uh, got killed um, by an airstruck above the Ukraine. Yeah, that was a terrible blow, but certainly it helps that you can always find <laughs> that contact with the divine world. And it also was a great consolation for me that I'm convinced that my son and wife and granddaughter continue to live without their bodies. And the Sufi message makes that very clear, that that life goes on. It's about awakening eh? uh, and, and discovering uh, your true self. If you find your true self, you recognize the true self in the other being. So it's not only, only limited to human beings, it's all living mm. beings. And that is one of the statements in Zen, who say it, uh, numerous are the living beings. Eh? I vow to all free them. It's also the International Year of the Soil this year from the UN. How important is that? It's most important and for me uh, soil means also the get to your soul. So the statement is save, save our soils, save our souls. Because I think if we save the soil, we save our also our, our being, the, es the, so essence, the essence of our being. So for me it's very essential. It's not only important, it's very essential. We have one common destiny and that's the Earth. It's not the Moon, mm. it's not Mars, it's, it's, it's the Earth. So we must get a balance, you could say, between soul and soil. Yeah. And that's an important idea in Sufism, that we need to get, create a balance of the inner and the outer life. And yes. how hopeful to conclude this dialogue Hmm. How hopeful are the both of you hmm. that we are capable to do that? I am hopeful, although when you look at the world now, it's difficult to have hope because you see so much conflict and suffering. And, but on the other hand, I'm st still optimistic because under that surface there is a growing awareness of the importance of spirituality. The inside world is our home. And we need to go home, <laughs> and all are, and we are all longing for this home. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm so confident that we get there. Mm. We, co we will go home. Mm. I'd like to conclude with saying, let's go home. Let's <laughs> go home. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. <laughs>